Hey, what's up guys? This is Jono here. In this video, I just want to give you um, a quick tutorial on how to open a wallet and the best wallet to use um, pretty much all over the world. It's the one that I use. It's called Kraken and it's probably the safest wallet out there. Um, they've never ever been hacked and I don't think they ever will be because their main focus is security. So um, Kraken is available all over the world. If you just go to Google and you type in Kraken, hit return. It's this first um, first entry here, so Kraken.com. Now, I'm not sure if Kraken is available in some states in the US, so you might have to find a different um, different wallet to use. Uh, I think it's it's available in most most um, states, but I think it's not available in Washington and New York, okay? So if you are from Washington and New York, then you may have to open a wallet which is called Coinbase, okay, spelled like this, because this one is available in all states in the US as far as I know, uh, but it's not it's not the wallet that I use. So if you are from Washington or New York, then you may have to use Coinbase. But for this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to open a Kraken account because it's the one that I use. And opening a Coinbase account is pretty much the same anyway. I mean, most of these wallets work in the same way. So um, there's going to be a button on here that says sign up somewhere. Uh, I'm already logged in, so I've got the button that says my account. So you'd simply go and sign up. And once you've signed up, you'll be able to come through to the dashboard, which is going to look something like this. And probably one of the first things that you would need to do is go over to your username here. So when you sign up, um, you will need to obviously register with your name, your address, your email address, you know, all of that kind of stuff, just as if you're signing up for anything online, right? So that I shouldn't need to walk you through that because it's pretty self-explanatory but once you have your account open your dashboard should look something like this if it doesn't then click on this icon in the top left and then it should look like this anyway if you go over to your uh, username in the top right you want to go down to where it says get verified okay this is before you add any funds into your kraken account this is before you do anything else you want to try and get verified now you 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 want to get verified to the immediate uh, intermediate section here so it will unlock all of these things here uh, most importantly being able to do bank transfers because this is going to allow you to both add funds into your crypto wallet which is kraken and also withdraw them later when you start making profits as well so it's 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 a good idea to get this done right from the get-go but you'll have to do the starter one first which will take one to two minutes and this is basically just providing personal information about yourself once that's done then it will unlock uh, crypto uh, currency deposits and withdrawals okay but you won't be able to do the bank transfers so it's important that you unlock this as well so once you've verified to the starter then come over to the immediate uh, sorry, intermediate section here, and it's going to have a button that says verify. Now, mine's already been verified, but you, for you, it would have a button here. So you click on the button. It'll take around four to five minutes. You just need to basically provide your ID, so either your your um, your, your driving license or your passport or something like that. Um, you may have to take a selfie, or I'm not quite sure what you need to do now because the the uh, they're always updating this and I did this, you know, a couple of years ago, so it may have changed now. But either way, it's going to take four to five minutes to do this process. But I definitely recommend that you do that. Once you've verified with the starter and intermediate, you're pretty much good to go. So once you've done that and you, you are verified, then you'd click on the Kraken icon over here, which will take you to your main account. And then you're going to have... Um, all these different uh, crypto coins, but also you're going to have things like US dollar, pound sterling. There's probably going to be one for, for euro as well. So if you want to actually start depositing money, then you can do so. So in order to do that, you can, you can do that from the main dashboard here, or you can also go and click where it says funding. 
okay? And here you will be able to deposit money into um, US dollar, pound sterling. They only, re I mean, Kraken will only let you deposit money into the native currency of your country. So if you're from the US, you can only deposit money into US dollar. For me, I'm, I'm from the UK, so I've got pound sterling. So you'd simply click on the deposit button. You go and choose which one that you want to deposit into. So you've got all of these different options down here. US dollar, pound sterling, Australian dollar, Canadian dollar, Swiss franc, euro, yen. So I'm going to click on pound sterling. And then make sure that you have the deposit uh, section, not the withdraw section selected. So click on deposit. And then you can um, click on fund manually. And what this will do is it will give you, so you need to put in the deposit amount. So say you're going to deposit, say, $2,000. Okay. It will then give you these different options. And most of these will, will, will give you a bank account that you need to send your money to. Um, so you've got these different options. So you can do wire transfer, chaps. You can do SWIFT. Okay. But I, in the UK, I use this one, which is uh, BAX. Okay, so it will give you these bank details here. Okay, bank account number, sort code, and the name, and the, the SWIFT ID, and the bank address and stuff. Make sure, so, so then you would need to go and open up your online banking. So whatever, you know, whatever online bank that you use, be that Bank of America, HSBC, Barclays, you know, uh, Wells Fuego, I can't remember the name of it, in the US, or Bank of Canada, or Royal Bank of Scotland, whatever it is, open up your online bank account, and you basically send your money to the bank details here. Now, when you're sending the money, this is really important. You need to make sure when you're sending the money, they, they will have a section in your online bank where it, it will tell you, where it will ask you for a reference number. And it's really important that you include the reference number that they give you down here. And that will make sure that the money will be deposited into your Kraken account. This is your your own personal identification number to make sure that the money goes into your Kraken account. If you don't include this, then they'll basically refund the money back to your online bank account and it will just delay the process. So make sure that you do this, right? Uh, that is basically it. Um, I don't think there's anything else. Sometimes with some bank accounts, if you try to make a um, if you try to make a bank transfer, especially for quite high amounts of money, you know, kind of over a thousand dollars, they may put a hold on that transfer, and you may have to call them just to verify that you are actually sending that money to this bank details to these bank details. Um, I've had issues in the past for, with HSBC trying to load money into my Kraken account because most regular banks, they don't like crypto. They don't really want you sending money into crypto. So they kind of make it difficult for people. So just if, if your money doesn't arrive in your Kraken account within, say, an hour, then you need to get in touch with your bank and find out what's going on. Okay. Now, after an hour or so, what you would need to do is come back to click on this icon over here and just check the US dollar or the pound sterling or euro or Canadian dollar, wherever you deposited that money into from your online bank account, you need to make sure that that money has actually arrived, okay? If it hasn't arrived within an hour or two, because that's how long it usually takes, then maybe get in touch with your bank to see if there are any issues and just make sure, uh, verify and confirm that it is you that's sending money to, to the bank details for Kraken. Um, and then that money should go through just fine. For some countries, it may take a couple of days, especially if it's your first time sending to a crypto wallet. But after your initial deposit, then it should happen within, you know, an hour max. Sometimes within minutes, it will arrive pretty much directly. 
But if there are any issues, if it takes longer than a couple of hours, then may, maybe get in touch with your bank and make sure that there's no issues. So that's basically how to fund a crypto account. It's pretty straightforward, really. It's pretty self-explanatory. Kraken has great support as well if you need any kind of help. You can click on the support button on Kraken. You can get in touch with their customer support who are really helpful and they are they're on it straight away you know you can you can get in touch with them for funding okay you can you can chat with them okay and 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 they're really on the ball they'll 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 really help you out so yeah that is basically it for this tutorial um thank you for watching and uh, hopefully you'll ha have no issues uh, funding and opening your kraken account see you soon